Well, new information tonight in the case against an already convicted pimp who's in trouble again. This is a story that the I team first broke and has been following since 2016. The I team's Vanessa Murphy has this latest development about new details revealed in the case. Vanessa? Yeah, we're learning more about an alleged sex trafficking ring involving teenaged girls. The man in charge, according to prosecutors, William Hort. And now court transcripts reveal how one of the girls changed her story and she may have been victimized. More than she originally claimed. An underaged teenaged girl claims she had sex with six different people in one night on the Las Vegas Strip and in at least one Clark County man's home, earning her $700 after she split the money with her pimp. He's identified by police as William Horde. Are you a pimp? No, nah, I'm not a pimp. That was Hoard in 2016. 8 News now interviewed him in jail after his arrest for sex trafficking teen girls from Green Valley High School. The truth is, I'm here for no reason, like for a lie. He later agreed to plead guilty to pandering or pimping, avoided prison time, and was given probation. Two years later, he was accused of pimping underage girls again after recruiting them on Snapchat. Yes, that was last August after detectives say a group of underage girls, one as young as 15, told them they would perform trick roles, fool a man into buying sex but then take his money and run while Hoard was in charge. But according to transcripts recently obtained by the I-team, one of the alleged victims admitted to lying to police then and revealed she did perform sexual acts. Also referred to in court documents, one man. Described as an Australian tourist by two of the girls, they say they met him at the Cosmopolitan. He agreed to pay $400 to take them up to his room, but they took his cash and ran. Later, they and two other girls were arrested by undercover officers at the MGM. According to one of the girls, they obviously looked underage, and it was 3 in the morning. Hoard's probation from his first case was revoked, and again, the 25-year-old man is facing life in prison if convicted of sex trafficking. The I-team requested an interview with Hoard again while he's locked up at the Clark County Detention Center. This time, he declined. The question, will he claim police made up this case against him, too? It's just fabricated. I don't believe in it. So, you know, I'm positive that I'll be out soon, for real soon. Okay, so you're not sorry for anything? I didn't do it, so it's nothing to be sorry about. A jury trial is set for February 19th. Hoard is charged with sex trafficking of a minor, child abuse, kidnapping, and more. Back to you.